Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by my channel. Once again, I have to apologize for not making so many videos so, or videos so frequently, but I've had a few requests on uh, my subscribers wanting to know what's going on with my wife, and I appreciate that. So this video is gonna, uh, I'm gonna update you on uh, what her situation is. Plus, as a little bonus, I guess, <laughs> we had some excitement yesterday. Border Patrol came by, so stick around and uh, let you get you updated on both of those. Okay. That's broken down. I know it. That's that's where we are, but there's where the camera is. Okay, three, two, two one. one. Hi, everybody. Hello. This is Bud Brown. This is Gloria Brown. And uh, sorry once again for not taking, uh, not updating our video so frequently, but. Uh, a lot of people have been asking, how's uh, Gloria feeling? As you know, she was going through a rough time there for a while. And uh, we're not completely out of the woods, but we can see the light anyway. Two metaphors. Uh, what happened was that uh, after she'd been here uh, a couple months, she kind of had a, the perfect storm in a negative way. She had uh, problems with her lungs, with her kidneys, with her heart, and uh, as well as, as you know, if you follow us for a while, she's had this knee problem for years. So we went to the hospital. They kind of did a tri triage, which take care of the most uh, vital things first, which was her breathing. So they found out she had uh, liquid in her lungs. They took that out. And then they told us we should go see a um, heart doctor because she had uh, chronic heart failure, CHF, and uh, kidney malfunction or not functioning. So we did. We went to the main thing. We went to the, or the first thing, we went to the kidney doctor. He said her kidneys were functioning about 34 to 35%, and it's not going to get better, but it won't get worse as long as we, you know, eat right, take the medications that he prescribed. So that's what we're going to do. And the heart doctor, we have um, an appointment next week, but this week they took an echo. Uh, what do they call it? Uh, echogram? Echo, some echogram. Like yeah. And uh, the technician was not allowed to tell us what they saw. But originally in the hospital, they said that she had uh, <clears throat> one of the valves was uh, not closing completely and letting the, the uh, blood back flow. So. We'll see what the doctor says. I believe it's next week. We'll go see him. Uh, but <clears throat> another big concern was, you know, getting our insurance taken care of. Would you believe? Now, if you're sitting sitting down, I'll tell you what the hospital bill was for six days. $90,000. But um, they had a discount. 70,000, and I don't know why, but it said discount 70,000, and then insurance take care of this thousand, that thousand. So it ended up for us only $1,800. So uh, they can make easy month, we can make easy monthly payments on that. So not a problem. Also, I think I told you that when I was in the Philippines, I had canceled the part B, which is the doctor bills, and all it turns out x-rays everything that was not included in the the hospital bill so we applied for a bit, uh, part b and they said that uh it would take up to 60 days, days. is that what you said yeah days. up to 60 days for it to go into effect so it's going to cost us 300 bucks a month but <laughs> that's fine you know Compared to thousands of dollars a month, I'll pay six, uh, $300, no problem. So we got that taken care of. And lastly, her knee. And she'd been 
fighting tooth and claw not to do anything with their knee. No operation, no shots, nothing. But because of our friends, so many have had a knee operation and uh, this cortisone shot in the knee that they convinced Gloria that it's well worth it, right? So we'll soon find out. We'll soon find out. So wouldn't that be wonderful if she can walk without hobbling around and just not be in pain in her knee? So we're looking forward to that. So my friends, time has gone by so fast. Can you believe it's been, we've been here a year? Oh my, April 6th is when we landed here in San Diego. And uh, now this is, February, uh, February March, yeah, almost February. March. So about 11 months we've been here. And a lot of people have, have asked me, any regrets? No regrets uh, being with our children and stuff. But I tell you one thing that I miss, and I'm sure you do too, that warm, okay, okay, well, okay, okay, and that warm Filipino weather. Huh? Mm -hmm. This concept of winter clothes, look, she's wearing a jacket. <laughs> Look, I'm wearing flannel shirts. What time is it? It's almost one o'clock. I'm still it's wearing my coat. One o'clock in the afternoon. I'm still wearing my coat. So we're trying to stay warm. Mm -hmm. But, you know, in the overall scheme of things, everything is just fine here. We're, we're just happy to uh, be here with our children. They've just been so wonderful to us. Tammy, our daughter. Andrew, our son, Neil, our granddaughter, just been great. So anyway, I want to wrap this up. And then in the next... Uh, next doctor's appointment? <laughs> yeah, let you know what happens in the next doctor's appointment. Thanks for coming by the channel. And uh, once again, I promise, <laughs> I mean it this time, that I'll uh, try to do a video a little bit more often. So I hope everybody's uh, in good health and happy, and healthy, and living uh, the greatest days that you can, because boy, the time goes by fast. All right, anything you want to say besides we, when we sign off? Goodbye. Goodbye. Patrol. Somebody said there was a bunch of Venezuelans that, that uh, are here. So, hey, hey, they cut on to you about those Venezuelans that you've been keeping here. In the oh, background, you know, oh, they're, in the, they're sniffing out over there. Yep. Somebody reported a bunch of Venezuelans are staying here.